Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, as promised, I'm going to do my best to bring you guys as many videos as I can during this time when everyone's indoors. I've got to be honest, it's quite a, it's quite difficult for me to make these kind of videos. I'm finding it difficult to talk about stuff like this at a time like this. It's a very serious time, but I know you guys are out there and you're you know you you want to see some content. So God bless all of you, and please stay safe and follow the advice. And just hope you're all okay. And I'm just going to, I don't really have any plan for this video, guys. I've done a few little things in the room. Uh, so I'm just going to film all this in one big take. There won't be any credits at the beginning or the end of these videos here because I'm filming it all on the Samsung Galaxy S8, which is my old phone, but it does let me film in 10 minute chunks in uh, full HD. And I'll upload these directly onto YouTube so that they finally process in 4K. So you can really appreciate the HD. Uh, it's really just a check-in video, just checking in with you guys, just going around the room talking about some things i've done recently and hopefully some of you guys out there will find it entertaining and just keep you busy if you're looking for something to watch uh, in the collecting community so bear with me and uh yeah let's uh start with the michael myers bust here it's a very simple thing and i don't know why i didn't do it before but it's really had a great effect on it it's very subtle but to me i can see the difference straight away uh this bust was always just flat on the surface and it's something about that just made the mask look kind of weird to me and I wasn't really happy with it. So it was literally just a case of raising the back of the bust just with an old rotating base about this tall. So now instead of it being flat, he's kind of more a bit more natural kind of position and everything just kind of slotted into place. Everything just looks a lot better now. So that bust is now tilted forward just a little bit. And looks fantastic. That is the Trick or Treat Studios 2018 Michael Myers mask. That was reworked by my buddy Simon Brandolino on Instagram. Absolutely amazing work on the mask. And the rest of the Myers collection is looking sweet as usual. Just remind you guys again, because I actually have the mask that is up for grabs in the raffle at Mad About Horror. And it's madaboutthorror.co.uk and uh, you can pay uh, just 10 pounds to enter in the raffle and it's for a really good cause for uh, helping poor old dogs that have had a rough time rehabilitate them and get them happy again it's a really good cause and again this mask was reworked by simon absolutely incredible so i did all the photography uh, recently for it for you know just helping spread the word on the the raffle and they do ship worldwide so anyone in the world can enter the raffle to get a chance to win this mask here. Absolutely incredible. And I'm pretty sure I've already mentioned this, but I, I just love this little fact, so I, I'll just chuck it into the, uh, the checking in video. So here is obviously the one Simon made, the mask, and that's proper James Duke Courtney, uh, you know, right out of the movie. Uh, absolutely amazing. But the one over here by Mike in Germany, the way I've got it kind of stuffed and the kind of color that uh, Mike used, this is a lot more like the one that um, Nick Castle wore, or at least the one that he's holding up in that picture in the daylight uh, when they were filming the movie. So I kind of like it because I've got, I think of this as the Nick Castle under the mask, and this one is James Jude Courtney under the mask. So it's very, very cool. Yeah, slightly tweak the pose on the werewolf here by Cool Models. Just coming at you through the woods. And I was playing the Resident Evil 3 demo. I decided to give it a second chance because the first time I played it, I wasn't really, uh, wasn't really in it that much. But the second time, turned off the lights and uh, really tried to get into the uh, the demo for Resident Evil 3. And I like it, man. But it does make me yearn for. Um, something of that quality video game wise but with werewolves instead of zombies i just think that would be terrifying you know those back alleys in the city that are nighttime and there's fires and just chaos everywhere and there's these beasts like this you know but i think they should have like black fur and red eyes so that it's hard to see them uh, at night when they're moving but you can see their red eyes just in the darkness it's like oh really creepy so yeah i just wish because I know how difficult it is for Hollywood to make good werewolf movies because of how much they cost. Because of all the effects and stuff. But video games? No reason why we can't have more werewolves in video games. So that's something I hope to see change. 
I recently posted a picture on Instagram, uh, right just like this, of these three together. And someone commented how perfect this looked. And I have to agree. I, it just something about the position of where it is in the room and the way the light's hitting it. It makes the coveralls look so accurate, the color. And these are the Dean Knight exclusive coveralls. Only three ever made. I've got two of them. And Tanila put them together with a material that I found. A secret material. And the, uh, you know, the Shadow Fergo knife. The real knife. The... Madbug version 1, unfortunately it was a recast, but did a little bit of paint work on it and it was, um, yeah, it was a bit of a, well the boots, don't worry about the boots, <laughs> they're actually Hot Toys Bane boots if I remember correctly, uh, or maybe Scarecrow by Hot Toys, I'm not too sure, I forget, but they're, they're Hot Toys boots of some kind, but they're not accurate, but he still looks absolutely awesome, I just think the coveralls just, and the position that he's in as well, it's kind of like when he's standing at the top of the stairs, and she thinks she stabbed him and well she stabbed him in the neck with a needle and then he's standing there just like the diorama you know that bit where he's standing there that's the bit i'm thinking of but yeah i need to do another diorama video this is the glenn page that's uh cult creations one six scale halloween 78 diorama and he's making 20. i believe he has 10 spots left so you can get in and get one of these i'll do another Cool video with this soon with Freddy Krueger, I think. It's very, very, very awesome. Incredible work by Glenn. And there's one of John Pearson's pumpkins chilling on the carpet. Another 2018 custom figure. That's a good one. And I painted and haired that one myself. It was a Legio 7 Workshop version 2 head sculpt. And it was literally just the sculpt that I received to paint it and put the hair on. Still not happy with the hair. I like the kind of hair that's on there, but it's just not cut right and styled right. So I need to go in, get some time and do that. It'd be sweet. These were the other pair of Dino exclusive coveralls that I had. I switched the pocket flap round to the other side and dyed these ones more of a kind of navy blue colour. And he's pretty brutal. And definitely need to rehair this big Necker quarter scale Rob Zombie figure. I did the hair on this a while back, but I used hair from a Halloween uh, mask. It was a werewolf mask. I just took the hair from that. I've I think I'll do that again using the hair from the Trick or Treat Studios 2018 mask. He's got a real knife though. The little guy down here. That's the big custom Rob Zombie Halloween 2007 Tyler Main Myers figure. It's a beast. Yeah, got about a minute and a half left on this uh, particular take here guys I'll upload this now and then carry on filming upload another one and uh, maybe looks like it'll be about three parts long <laughs> about half an hour because uh, I didn't mean to concentrate on Myers he's just he's, he always distracts me I was uh, I'll head over here and talk about some of this stuff too not that much has changed a few things have changed particularly with these two and uh, yeah Come back and bring you some more video action. I've got just under a minute, so I'll just finish off over here. There's Boo Face custom Michael Myers figure. That's a concept piece. Really, really cool. Now ah, you've seen him. You've seen him. I need to fix his leg because you shouldn't see that. There you go. Cool pumpkin. One six scale. Came with that. And big Necker 1978 Myers figure. Hope we get another one of those someday. All right, so that's just uh, part one of the checking in video. I'm going to do another uh, another 10 minutes right now and upload that too. So drop a like on the video, subscribe, and uh, check me out on Instagram. Dean that free free free. All right, see you in a bit, guys.